Hi everybody, this is Brian David Marshall coming to you from the Tournament Center at Pro Tour Avacyn Restored in Barcelona, Spain. And I'm here with Justin Plaka from Minnesota. And we are gonna violate years and years of conditioning. We've been taught time and time again that you do not, under any circumstances, ever talk about Fight Club. But we have to talk about Fight Club. This is a really exciting deck. Justin, you designed this yourself? Uh, my friend Andre Yanyuk actually designed it. Okay. I, mean, I contributed in playtesting, but it was pretty much all him. Okay. And you are, uh, we're, you know, more, more, more than halfway through day two, and you are six and one with this deck yes. in block constructed. It is a mono green deck, and it is very exciting, and it's got some cards that you may not have expected to see when you sat down to watch the coverage of a block constructed event. Let's take a look at the mana curve of this deck. And uh, we need to back up here. <laughs> so uh, we're, we're uh, keep up, oh, there we go. Okay, Young Wolf. How many uh, copies of this card are you playing in the deck? Four. Four copies of Young Wolf? Yes. What, why Young Wolf? Uh, in testing, Pilgrim was just worse than it uh, against like the aggro decks. Like if they go turn one Pilgrim, turn two, uh, gather the townsfolk, or sorry, champion. You're probably taking three if you have like Pilgrim or uh, Tracker. Whereas that guy can like block at least two times and essentially gain you four to, I don't know, eight life, something like that. And on top of that, I mean, he fights, kills stuff with Tracker and comes back and does it again. So this, this is the Brad Pitt who's organizing your fight club yep. for the most part. Uvenval Tracker. 1-1 uh, one, one Human Shaman, and target creature you control fights another target creature. Is this relevant? Is this like a big part of what your deck does? Oh yeah, it's probably the best card in the deck, honestly. Like, it lets, it gives green removal. So we, we've seen a number of decks playing one Oven Vault Tracker or Splash. Are you playing four? Oh yeah, the full set. Four Trackers, four Young Wolves. Four Strangle Root. Four Strangle Root, guys. So this is your suite of creatures early on in the game. Uh, they're able to trade, come back. You can fight, they come back. Yeah. All right, very interesting. So let's let's move on to the next uh, spot up the curve. Uh, this is now we get to Mayor of Averbrook with Young Wolf is is a really nice yeah. interaction. Uh, everyone thinks about him, uh, you know, boosting up werewolves when he when he flips, but he also boosts yeah. up uh, wolves, right? Yeah. And uh, so tell me about this four card four copies. Yeah, four copies of him as well. Um, he's been mediocre. Okay. It's, I mean, it's okay, but. You do get the draws where you're like turn two, mayor, turn three, pass, end of turn, Wolfier Avenger, or mid combat Wolfier Avenger, and just blow them out. Right, so you're playing the Wolfier Avenger, a, a flash creature, so that lets you pass and for, transform your yep. mayor. And then this guy comes down as a 4 4 when yeah. that happens. Yeah, and then I mean, on top of that, you do have the tracker, so a lot of times you just pass the turn, let it flip, and then fight mayor with something and kill it. Right, so right, and the fight is not something that is sorcery speed. You can do that at any time. Correct. So that's very exciting. So Wolfier Avenger, four and four here? Four and four. Okay, and then obviously this is this is the big star of the weekend, right? I mean, we've yeah. seen this in Naya decks and Jun decks and green-white decks. Yeah, he's been really good. Unfortunately, I'm only playing one copy between the main deck and sideboard. What? Yeah. Uh, in testing, we... Four young wolves, one Wolfier Silverheart. <laughs> He's a little bit too slow for what we want to do. Like, we're kind of greedy with mana. Like, we want to regenerate our Wolfier Avenger and fight and all that kind of stuff and most of the time we'll just go tutor him and then usually just search for him and then kill them on the spot or just get there pretty much okay all right well let's let's keep looking so we've seen a bunch of creatures now six different creatures uh or and then uh, what's what's next a planeswalker garrick the relentless a more fighting yeah so you get sometimes your garrick gets to fight with, with it happens a, a lot actually yeah now, you don't have the ability to play this on uh, turn three. You don't have any uh, Averson Pilgrims. You don't have any of the Scorned Villagers that we've seen some people playing. So you, you can't ramp to this. You're just playing it on turn four. Is that that's that's something fine. you're comfortable with? Yeah. I mean, the other cards we'd much probably rather play on. I, I guess turn three group is really good, but... <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to lie. He'd be fine on turn yeah, three? Yeah, he'd be fine on turn three. It's just we couldn't really warrant the Avengers since it makes white mana and not green. So... Sure. Like maybe if you're playing like Champion of Lambolt or something like that, where we could go turn to that card, but turn or three drop is Avenger, so sure. not really worth powering that guy out. And otherwise, he's just a generic one one. All right, and how does this card work for you normally? What are you doing? Uh, usually fighting, uh, Fiend Hunter, pretty much that. Okay. Yeah, they like to eat my Geist. 
Okay, Strangroot, guy, Fiend Hunter on a Strangroot, guys. Kill it, get it back, flip yeah. it, start turning out wolves. Yep, or sack my Strangroot guys for wolf here, uh, Silverheart. Right, oh, that's right. So that's one, it's really an important thing that you can do here is you're able to search your cards. Yep. One of the cards that you will search for, uh, we'll get to in a moment. So we've, we've looked at a bunch of stuff. Let's take a look at the next slide. And, uh, oh, we have more spells. Prey Upon. The I was not expecting to see either of these cards show up during the Constructed event, maybe an Innistrad uh, draft side event. or ha What's going on here? Well, and how many copies of each are you playing? Uh, four Prey Upon, four Blazing Torch between main deck and sideboard. There's two of them main deck, but they shouldn't be main deck. Like after, we were expecting a lot of zombies. Well, not a lot, but more than what I played against. Like the, the not being able to block isn't rel like as relevant. But in testing, like I was playing the zombies deck, and I would go turn three, make a five five demon off of the high priest, and then the green deck would just lose. So that was just basically an answer for like so quick. Th this is killing scares that high priest. Yeah. yeah. Same same as it did in limited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, tell me about prey upon. Uh, that card's great. It just. I don't know, it's like swords to prey shares or something like that. Just kill a guy. <laughs> did you actually just say swords to prey shares? I did. Uh, Rich is so happy. <laughs> okay, and then, uh, so see a little bit more removal. I mean, green removal, this is kind yeah. of unusual. We haven't seen any other colors here. What's the next slide that we have? Forest, this is your, this is your mana base. Yeah. No, well, no non-basics? No non-basics. We were gonna like try to fit in like a cemetery or a hinterland harbor just to like bluff playing a second color, but then like first game of testing, we like mulled to five with the one lander with the hinterland harbors. Like no, never again. <laughs> what? Uh, how many? How many forests are you playing? Uh, Twenty-five. Like I mean, it's excessive. So, or I mean, it's high because of you know the curve is really low. But as I said before, the deck's really greedy on mana. Like you want to be fighting every turn or regenerating something right. like that. So if you're keeping track at home you may realize we've come up to 56 cards. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're not at the full 60. You may be thinking about the fight theme of this deck, and you're like, well, I mean, sure, but aren't you going to be trading your creature when you fight? I mean, what's going to happen? How is it going to live through this? Let's take a look at the last four cards in your main deck. Seriously? That card is so good. Now, you did not say to me that Predator Ooze is so good, talking about Constructed. This card doesn't even make a lot of limited decks. Is it really that good? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the reason for just the mono green mana base. Like, a lot of times, I mean, and the reason that we're not playing the Pilgrim, because we want to go turn three that guy pretty much every right. time. So you don't get to play him on turn three off of a Pilgrim because you need green, 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 and he makes white. Exactly. If so you had a Lanoir Elf, oh God, it would yes. be... <laughs> Young Wolf would be gone. We'd be playing that card in a heartbeat. Uh, tell, tell me about Predators and tell me how he works in your deck. Well, um, we fight a lot, pretty much. Just uh, usually, like especially if you're tracking, if they have like a two toughness or two or three toughness guy, like, attack with a Predator before blocks, after it's gotten the 1-1 one, one counter fight, kill it, and it's like a 3-3 three, three, and it usually gets out of control. There's really not a lot of removal for it in the format. I haven't seen a lot of black, so like there's right. like very few dead weights, tragic slips couple severs. Their only real answer is Fiend so, Hunter. So, sever, so, yeah, Sever the Bloodline, dead weight. Sure. Uh, let, let's talk about some of the things that this card does. Porter Drews is indestructible. Very good when fighting. Oh, yeah. Uh, whenever it attacks, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it. You get it bigger and bigger. Also good when fighting. But this is, I think, the really important part. Yeah. Is you get to pick off some creatures early. Uh, when they die, when because you know, fighting deals damage, he gets bigger. Yeah. So clear the way. Oh, suddenly he's a five-five. Now I attack. Yeah, I think now like, he's a six-six. Yeah, I think like last round I went like turn one tracker, turn two strangle root guy swing, turn three that guy, turn four uh, untap, prey upon a guy, attack uh, before blocks, fight with tracker. So it was really big, really quick. Just right, you, and you, right. You have the opportunity to fight with him multiple times. Have you had situations where you've had multiple trackers in play at the same time? Actually, that hasn't come up today. Usually, I get like bonfired of the damned out before that <laughs> happens. But and so you you actually want to parcel out your your trackers. You probably don't want to play into yeah mass the bonfire, removal. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, this is I honestly this deck is and you're six one with this deck. You're not joking with me, yeah, right? Six like, one. I mean these these are not cards that were on people's radar when we were talking about constructed. So that's really exciting. Uh, let's take a look at your sideboard. You have some more cards. Uh, so. 
Bramble Crush. That was for against like the control decks to, in like the mana is just awful in this format. So usually just blowing up a basic land or a dual land will get you there against a control deck, and it blows up Planeswalkers. Right. I was just gonna say that's a big deal that this card blows up a Planeswalker. There's not a lot of ways to deal directly with a Planeswalker, and this this is one of them. This card, I saw you defeat, defeat Sigurda, Host of Herons, with a Nightshade Peddler. Your opponent had to block a Death Touch creature. Yeah, I was having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your opponent looked like he was in hell, though. Yeah. He was like, I can't believe I am losing to a Nightshade Peddler. And it was the perfect card that you brought in from your sideboard for the yeah. matchup. I, honestly, that should be main deck over Torch, probably, I think probably four copies of it. Oh, over which card? Uh, definitely the main deck Blazing Torches. They haven't been, like, they've come out all day. So, then, so you have, what, two Nightshade Peddlers? Yeah, in two assignment? Peddlers in the board. And you would, you would swap them out with the two Blazing Torches? Yeah, pretty much every single game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two more Blazing Torches. Graft Digger's Cage is kind of uh, self-explanatory, I think. Yeah. I lost to Reanimator a lot in testing. Like, just absolutely no game at all when they go, like, turn four, big guy. And you're, you're playing full four copies of that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then finally, Gloom Widow. That card is just awful. Okay. <laughs> it should be you're, like... You're not defending the Gloom Widow. No, no, not at all. Never tested it. Felt that we were just weak to flyers. Unfortunately, all the flyers are better than that card. So it, like, blocks for a turn. It should be, like, Crushing Vines or Eaten by Spiders or more Silver Hearts, something like that. Just not that card. Okay, okay. So you, you, you have a little bit of a flex spot there. You would... If you were going to start this tournament all over again... You know, you wake up, you're like, oh, oh, it was a dream. I have to go play in the Pro Tour. You'd still play this deck. Oh, yeah. Like, I, well, like you said, I'm X1. Like, my one loss is to Naya, but I'm, like, either 3-1 or 4-1 on the day against Naya. So. Naya's a big, a big deck, and we're going to try to get you a look at the Naya deck uh, in, a, in the next round or so. But uh, that, that's been a big deck, and you're, you're, you're doing very well against it despite the loss. Yeah. What's your worst matchup? Probably read Duke's deck. That deck just seems like it would just thrash me. So the hexproof Gisela. Yeah. Well, Gisela's not hexproof. Yeah, she's not Sorry. hexproof. But, but but she makes it much more difficult to fight when yeah. all your damage is halved. Exactly. And then they just untap and kill you. So, so the, the hexproof Sigurda you could beat, but the not the, the Gisela not the. Yeah. Not I so mean, much. the problem is the deck isn't actually very fast. It plays like a control deck. So, okay. Well, there you go. Uh, we talked about Fight Club. What are you going to do about it? I suggest you go maybe uh, load this deck up on Magic Online, give it a try. Maybe uh, if you're FNM, uh, you're doing a block constructed or even looking at the new standard, you might want to take a look at this. For Justin Plocker, this is Brian David Marshall signing off from the Tournament Center.